Now, is your kitchen looking a little drab, tired? Well, if you don't mind rolling up your sleeves, Leanne has a solution for you. Take a look. This kitchen has amazing bones, but it does need maybe just a little bit of a facelift. Now, I'm a really big believer that if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. And in this case, the cabinets, the counters, everything is in such great condition. Why would anyone toss them into a landfill? Instead, I'm taking on the challenge of refreshing the entire space using only paint. Our oak overload is slowly being erased in this kitchen. We've been working really swiftly and the cabinets have been a bit of an undertaking, but let me tell you, once we took them off and we set them up to get them prepped and painted, it's really been a smooth process and this is what we've been working towards. Now, we started by cleaning them and if you have the right product, it makes the job really easy. I used a deglosser, which actually meant no sanding. This then had a bond coat put on it and now the last step is just to put a top coat to protect it and make it really durable. Now when it comes to the backsplash, we've actually made some really great progress. We gave it a really good cleaning, made sure that all of the grease from the kitchen and everyday cooking was removed. And as you can see, we put a fresh coat of paint, but it's paint specifically designed for ceramic tile. Don't just go putting any wall paint on there. Now there's been a couple of areas like our good old hummingbird pattern that was built in. We haven't necessarily gotten rid of it, but we've definitely masked it. But although the paint's on there, that's not the final step. We have one more magical step to create a really unique look. But for that, I need a second set of hands. So I have my friend and colleague Glenn here to help me out. That's right, Leanne. With this product, you're gonna wanna mix part A and part B. You're gonna mix it for two minutes. This is gonna give it a natural stone finish which is gonna allow and protect it from any stains or further damage to the walls. So I'm gonna need Leanne's help, and she's gonna be rolling as I'm gonna brush all the edges. So I'm gonna brush the edges, and Leanne's gonna go and roll them. Okay. So we work as a team, you wanna work in small sections. You don't wanna to get too carried away and do the whole wall. Small sections, and we'll get it done. It's gonna look great. So this is gonna eventually dry clear and give a bit of that natural stone textured finish. So when I roll right over hummingbirds here, when all is said and done and the finish is dry, they'll be even less noticeable. Unbelievable.